hello and welcome to my channel it is friday the 12th of july which means it's a weighing update so um yep as usual fridays are super busy at the moment um just with work and everything so there is always a bit of a delay of my uh, weighing update um so yeah i thought i'd let you know how i got on so um last week i put on a pound and a half which i was kind of expecting um just with water retention time of the month um going out the weekend and then also having a lot of chocolate the day before star week arrives um so yes um not great but that meant that i was four pounds away from target so what did i do differently this week um i didn't have anything on at all this week um i was just which was quite good because i just really wanted to stay focused and everything um um, I just really wanted to enjoy the plan and everything like that. Um, but I also wanted to be more aware about how much I was eating. So, um, as usual, like I always have my breakfast in the morning, sort of about 10 or 11-ish. Um, sometimes it's later, like a couple on the Wednesday when I work in the morning. I can't have my breakfast at 7 o'clock in the morning. I just can't do it. Like, even 8 o'clock, I could probably get away with having it i start work at nine but i'm doing stuff i just it's too early for me so for that day i always have my breakfast brunch um midday so um what i've kind of did this week was different to what i normally do even though when i've been 100 percent on plan i snack a lot i'm a bit of a grazer i snack a lot um which i have noticed before and i have cut that down but for me i was having like I'd have my breakfast, say, at 10 o'clock, um, and then I'd have, I don't know, it might be just be some fruit, or it might be a hi-fi bar, or it could be, I don't know, some yoghurt, you know, fat-free yoghurt with some frozen berries, and then, you know, have some, like, lunch, and then I might have another snack, especially if I'm working, I want to have something before I go to work, um, and then I come in and have my dinner and then I usually have like a treat later on in the evening. Um, it might be a chocolate bar, it could be just a bowl of fruit, like berries or something, or it could be a great little cheesecake or something like that. It will be something. Um, and that's something I kind of want to step away from because I feel like I'm eating too much. Um, my dinner I usually have around, usually if I'm not working, it's about half seven, eight o'clock. Um, really don't fancy dinner until then anyway it's just you know I mean Darren prefer to sit down and enjoy our dinner the kids are fed a lot earlier so we kind of want to once we've got the kids to bed and everything um, I tend to start on dinner while Darren goes and sorts the kids out so then I have our dinner about half seven eight usually about eight o'clock um, but if I'm working I tend to have my dinner about uh, about quarter past nine basically when I get in from work so I tend to have like a snack before I go to work so I've kind of just been having one snack a day and some days it's not even been that. So um, that's just something I've sort of been a bit more aware of and realised that actually I don't need those snacks. I don't need to eat for the sake of it. Um, I've been drinking lots of water and I've done five workouts this week. So I did a workout uh, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, went, yeah, five workouts this week. Um, just because I felt like I wanted to. I really wanted to. So, um, yeah, I finished my results with Lucy six weeks beach body. Um, I'm carrying on with results with Lucy. I absolutely love it. And I'll probably choose another program or I might do mix up a little bit. But I will be working out four times a week still following the results with Lucy. Exercises, there's just different ones. There's some that are longer. So kind of when I've got a bit more time on my hands, I can do those. Um, but I kind of stick to the sort of the 25, 30 minute ones just so that um i can fit it in basically um and then i'm also going to try and fit some runs in sort of over the next few weeks and get back into those because they've kind of stepped away from those um i'm going to try and also go to boot camp as well on sunday so how did group go as i said i put on a pound and a half lot this week and i really really wanted to get that off um i had four pounds to target um which i wasn't expecting to lose but i was hoping to get at least a pound and a half off that i've gained last week so I'm just going to cut to it. So I stepped on the scales, as you do. I lost six pounds. Six pounds. I've never lost six pounds. <laughs> I was like, 
what? I mean, I felt it in my clothes. I thought this week I could be at Target, but four pounds, I think four pounds is the most I've lost. Let me have a look. So I've looked at my book. The most I've lost since January is when these were launched, the end of December was three and a half pounds. Previous to that, I think it was four pounds, my consultant told me. Um, she told me that a little while ago. Um, so yeah, six pounds, six whole pounds. So my target was 10 stone five, and I am now, well, I'll show you my book. I'm 10 stone three, so I'm two pounds under target. Um, I don't know if you set, do you set your target at 10, 10 stone three? Or do I just have it as 10 stone five and work around that? But whatever, at the moment I'm 10 stone three. Now, so that means I've lost three stone six and a half pounds. However, I could go for the, the half a pound loss and see and get my three and a half stone award but that would take me right to the bottom end of my target which is kind of where I want to sort of stay for a little while um but there are going to be weeks where my body fluctuates and things like that so I'm just going to carry on do what I'm doing um and just yeah I just don't know like I didn't <laughs> I did not expect it to be this week I knew it would hopefully be in the next couple of weeks I would get to target um, I'm so over the moon. If you follow my journey for a long time, you will know that it has taken me since end of August 2017. That is a long time. I mean, some people lose what I've lost in like three months. Um, yeah, it's a long time. But it's not like I haven't tried. And also the last sort of five months have been very up and down, up and down. And it's not like I've got gone, put like a stone back on. I put on like a couple of pounds, lost it. Put on a couple of pounds, lost it. And just because of things going on and me not being in the right frame of mind. Um, but something clicked back in, was it May? Something clicked again. I thought, I can do this, Sarah, I can do this. It might have been before then, but I can't remember. But yeah, I can do it and I did do it. And yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm so over the moon. So I got my certificate there. I also got my shiny and you get a little badge as well, which says Target there. So I am really, really pleased. I picked up the new Simming World magazine. So I'm gonna have a little read of that tonight. And I also obviously got my Slim for Life book, which I'm gonna have a little read next week. Um, I'm just kind of, kind of wanna sort of, settle down I've got lots on this weekend um so yeah I'm really really pleased um so that's it I'm at Target I can't believe it um what's next am I gonna weigh in every week I'm not sure now next week is what I call moon week um so I'm not actually sure if I think my body might fluctuate a little bit I'm just gonna carry on being on plan as though I'm aiming to lose weight with the hope that I get it maintain at least. Um, or it might even get a small gain, which will be fine because I'll still be within target, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna sort of see how, how I go. I've had a couple of drinks this afternoon. Yeah, only very small wines, like very, very small. We had the Leavers Nursery uh, party. So the adults, uh, so the children had their party um, this afternoon we had bouncy castle all day at nursery it was like a fabulous for them it's so i'm so lucky that both my boys have managed to go to this nursery it's so lovely and then at three o'clock um an hour before pickup um the parents could go along for drinks and nibbles got a group photo um just absolutely lovely um so yeah i had a couple of glasses of wine but i'm absolutely fine and they are actually within my sin allowance. Um, but I did have a few nibbles because I hadn't had any lunch because I've been rushing around and working and everything. Um, but it's fine. I don't care. Like, um, that doesn't mean that I'm going to go off plan the rest of the weekend. No, not at all. I'm completely on it. Um, I don't even want to feel like I'm just going to relax because I want to, I want this weight. This is a lifestyle for me. You know, there are going to be times when I'm going out, but that's how I've treated this whole journey so far um when I go out I enjoy myself and I just get back on it the next day and that's kind of how I want to be I want to see this as a lifestyle I also want to step away from writing everything down I'm probably just going to write things down for the next few days 
and then I'm going to sort of try and do a couple of days. I tried to do it last one day last week and I just couldn't. I kind of got to the afternoon and I was like, I need to know. I can't remember what I've eaten. So I'm just going to kind of see how I go. Um, but I need to, I really want to step away from writing everything down because that's then like a diet. Whereas now I'm at Target, I want to kind of maintain and just then sort of get used to ignore, being more subconscious about things in my head and what sins I've had. Um, I know I can do it. I just need to work on that. But I'm not again if I need to write it down I will um, and just until I get used to it um exercise as I said is carrying on because I've always done exercise I love it um, um with regards to my weighing updates I don't know if I'm going to have a weekly weighing update I plan to kind of see how the first few weeks go and I'll keep you updated that way but then I think eventually I will move on to like every other week and then maybe once a month, I don't know. I'm just going to kind of see how I go. I just don't want to sort of not weigh in and then it goes wrong. Or um, I think then if I weigh in every week, it's a little bit, I feel like I'm on a weight loss journey and I don't want to be like that again. I just want to now live the lifestyle. Um, I'm not saying I don't want to reduce my target in the future. Um, my original target was 10 stone 7. I dropped it to 10 stone. Um, my target now is 10 stone 5, which seems to be like a realistic, but who's to know? I might drop it another £7. Um, I'm £2 anyway, so I've got £5 to go if I want to. But at the moment, I'm just happy where I am. Um, and I think for the next couple of months, that's how I'm going to be. Um, but obviously, if things change, I will let you know. Um, I'm going to do some what I eat in a day. I'm going to carry on doing those because I enjoy doing them. Um, and hopefully you enjoy watching them and also food hauls as well yeah so hopefully um i will get some more of those up for you um but at the moment i've got no food shopping plan planned i'm literally topped up at the moment and trying to use everything up in the cupboards but there will be some more in the future and i would also do some recipes as well because i have been a bit lazy on that now the school holidays are nearly here and even though the kids will be off hopefully i can still do a couple of recipe recipes here and there um, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this update and um, do let me know how you've gotten this week at your weigh-in if you have been. If not, good luck to those of you that weigh in on a Saturday or Sunday this weekend and um, have a fabulous weekend and I'll speak to you all very soon. Take care. Bye.